hi darlings welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Moana and I'm very happy to have you here and today I'd like to show you how I achieved this my soft girl makeup look well soft makeup look <laughs> well, I'd love to be soft anyways <laughs> but I need more money but anyways uh, this is my soft makeup look which is very easy and convenient for every day and as you can see it's you know a bit pinkish girlish and lightish and it's easy for you to just hop on the mirror take your makeup and do daily and all the time so i'd like for you to look like this as well so let's just get into the tutorial i don't know i find it funny to say tutorial okay let's do this so to start off i use this nyx um hydra touch oil primer and it's an oil primer and already i have some vaseline on my face i'm a very much firm believer in vaseline I use Vaseline for everything. Actually, this smells like um, olive oil and rosemary. It's nice. I've never actually smelled it before because usually I use my other primer. But this one is actually very, very nice. And it's oily. I love how it feels. My face is shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I'm looking like an archbishop because of my pollen neck. It's very very cold outside guys and I want to go out soon after this So I didn't want to end up having to dress up and mess up my outfits. Anyways The archbishop is not doing her eyebrows. I go in with this number five Benefit cosmetics eyebrow pen So usually when your eyebrows are done when you like trim them and fix them It won't be difficult to do your eyebrows because you can just follow the shape but then if you even have thin eyebrows, damn, you're actually lucky. Or you don't have to shape. It means you can just shape anything you want. But of course, if you have more eyebrows, yeah, I don't know. I think it's all the same. More eyebrows or less eyebrows because it just allows you to shape anything. But anyways, you just need to take your time when doing this. Ha! Huh, I love this. And today I trimmed my eyebrows to be thinner. Because I feel like when my eyebrows are thin, I look more gorgeous and they are thick. Huh? It's giving natural vibe. I'm not buying makeup to give natural vibe. I'm buying it to look like a doll. Okay? So, do what, what's good for you? Which eyebrow is good for you? Okay. Now I'm using my Sephora Collection Concealer for my under eyebrow. Take your time doing this, guys. You can be we can, you can be fast with everything, but for the eyebrow highbo, make sure you're taking your time because it's going to determine everything. <laughs> the eyeshadow can be can be can be disturbed and look wahala wahala, but the eyebrow we cannot afford it to look wahala. Okay, I love this shape, and if you don't like it, you can just get inside and draw it until you get your designed shape of course <laughs> now i want the eyebrow shape to pop so i'm going to shape top of my eyebrow with my foundation shade which i'm going to show you shortly but this just adds an extra emphasis on the eyebrow but it's very unnecessary to put eyeshadow I'm just applying the same concealer that I'm using for my eyeshadow and blend you out. I mean, you can use eyeshadow primer, but I do not have that. Actually, I have an eyeshadow primer, but mm, I think I bought a brand that's not really good. So when I apply it, it looks funny. Oh boy, I have single lashes and they're falling off. <laughs> I think when I finish this, I'm going to put on top of this more lashes eyeshadow uh makeup revolution and i'm using this orange shade just as a base because it's supposed to be just a soft makeup look right so you just want to put some soft colors but this orange base i also use it oh boy my 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 my, my single lashes are embarrassing me they are literally dropping off as i'm applying this uh <laughs> i've had them for two weeks they're literally dropping off as I'm applying this uh, this eyeshadow, this orange eyeshadow. I don't know what color it looks on camera, but it's very, very orangey, extra orangey on the, on the palette. So you just want to make the eye softer so that when you apply another color, 
it will not overwhelm the eye okay and apply as much as you want to this is just a soft look so there's no overdoing it now i'm going in with my huda beauty to just create an effect of smokiness to my eye as it is a darker color but it's a soft smokiness not too much mm, yes exactly as i want it to be mind you i'm using the same brush guys i still don't understand how these brushes work but as long as it's working for me i keep using it so perhaps i abuse this brush this is the sephora collection uh eyeshadow brush this is the sephora collection eyeshadow brush definitely you should have it boy oh boy now it's time for my liner i use the sephora collection liner right now i'm going to be quiet I shake my hands a lot when doing eyeliner, guys, so that's why I'm quiet. Oh, yo, eyeliner is not a kid's game, guys. <laughs> it will always humble me. <laughs> now I'm going in with my foundation. I use the Smack Cosmetics foundation, and uh, I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to apply. Yo. I notice when you use a beauty blender, the makeup is more, it, it it's like it's in the skin, you know? And the brush as well, the brush is very, very good. But, just like you're painting. But if you want a soft, more softer look, use your beauty blender as it just gets into the skin. Oh boy, guys, winter just started in here where I am. And uh, I'm noticing my skin is lightening up. <laughs> so this foundation could actually now not be my foundation. Or next time, I will have to mix this foundation with concealer so that it becomes lighter, as I can see now. But it, it looks like it's a bit darker. But just two weeks ago, it was just my right shade. I, I like my skin color, but I don't like the fact that it changes all the time depending on the weather and oh i move i go somewhere i travel it's like i have 10 different skin colors girl shouldn't you just be black oh, i wish i was like very black 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 like the south sudanese people that would make it much easier for me because i would know my skin yes it can be a bit darker what but but if it's very very rich in darkness i would not have to have problems with it having pigmentations and all that all that you know and under the eyes of course now concealer time i prefer starting with concealer than starting with the contour stick because when you have already applied the light one it will be easier just to go on with the darker contouring on top oh boy i think i'm applying a lot but you can apply a little <laughs> even if it's a soft look guys i just love being extra you know and you can put any amount that you want yo guys i've also noticed something yes makeup tutorial artists can tell you oh do this do that but i feel like whenever someone does their makeup it just makes them look more beautiful of course you can go to a makeup artist professional and all that but even if you do it yourself when someone does their makeup it looks good you can improve of course in certain areas but it looks still looks good mm, no i don't like i don't like the it takes away everything but let me paint with a brush <laughs> you see guys when i was uh, uh, doing with the beauty blender all the concealer went away girl i want the drama i did not buy the concealer for for a soft look i want the concealer to conceal i want to see the concealer <laughs> guys we do not buy makeup just for a soft look no 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 no, no. we buy it for the look to look I don't mean like a dramatic, too dramatic look, but I just want, if the concealer is supposed to conceal, then let it conceal. It's not supposed to be humble now. Uh -uh. Because this brush, this sponge, is trying to make my concealer humble, but mm, I think I need it now. Oh, okay. 
it was just the thing the chain guys it had less product so but it's it's good that's why i love contouring after the highlighting because now you can see clearly where you need to contour as you have already highlighted all the places that needs highlighting and then the nose of course and for my face you know got a big forehead you gotta cover that up darling let's cover up the forehead <laughs> okay i'm using my i'm using my beauty blender that i used to apply foundation with for this process for blending together these two colors Oh boy, my hair is getting in the way. Then I'm just going to fix some beauty blender mistakes with this brush. And blush, I'm going to mix the Rare Beauty. I love blush. I overput blush. Rare Beauty. And I love it. And also, I like putting blush everywhere. The whole area. Because I noticed Rihanna's makeup artist does it. And I said, why not? So, I'm also going to use this Pixie blush. I'm going to use them together, guys. It's a joint, joint forces. Joint armed forces of of makeup so that we have drama <laughs> this pink is gorgeous but i think for my skin it's not giving everything i want it to give so this red one i'm going to put on top is much darker and it's going to make it pop even more that's the purpose now i'm putting the, the redder one on top as you can see making the blush more vibrant don't worry about putting too much blush or if it looks like it's too much blush always goes away when you apply all the powders on top so you might as well just apply too much and on top of the nose i just want the face to be cohesive to understand each other to be together and put together <laughs> okay Ooh, i look red I might have gone overboard, but now I go for the powder, baking powder. This is the Huda Beauty Banana Color. And I absolutely love it. See? Sometimes I put too much so that it just bakes and bakes. But other times, I just put a little. That's enough. But because we are just dramatic sometimes, that's why we put a lot of this powder I don't know why. <laughs> I'm looking like a cat with my claws on the my claws powder. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. This this process is just therapeutic, guys. I absolutely love it. And I love how makeup builds up. Like at first, at some point, you'll be like, hell no, what the hell is going on? And as you go about the process and finish the process, it starts to make sense, you know? It's like we're builders. People who do makeup, we're ar architects. We're designers, actually. Let me fix here. Foundation. And the contour brush. Okay. Mm-mm. Mm 
and of course under the eye See how this powder is so good it makes it look like oh i love it i'm going to use my sephora collection powder brush just to brush off the excess powder hmm, but i don't think to seem i don't seem to see any excess I look like Michael Jackson I'm very white <laughs> now I'm going to use the Sephora collection of our mitifying powder which is in my shade of course if it looks darker it's because of the winter guys but this is my exact shade so i just pack it inside mm. and i put as much as i can because i can <laughs> yo today it looks like the eyeshadow is the, the the blush is staying guys the blush always runs away maybe it will run away after spring but today it is staying and i like it like that <laughs> goodness i look gorgeous hi boo you see it's starting to come together now like along the way you'll be like eh madam what the heck but now as i'm finishing me too sometimes when i'm doing makeup all the time i, I always say hey what are you doing and then by the by the time i finish i'll be like okay makes sense makes sense <laughs> why i'm doing this so fast i don't know Mm, I'm a gorgeous woman, guys. Yo, I'm going to use my maybe it's Maybelline, my Maybelline fix fix what word? Is this a new one? It sounds like it's not a new one. Uh, Maybelline setting spray. did i put too much i think so okay beauty blender you just go in with the blender to make it sink in the skin So that our makeup doesn't look cakey and ashy because of all the build up of product. Mm -hmm. I'm going to apply mascara to the lashes so that they pop more. I wanted to put more lashes, but I thought they look a bit too. I don't like having too much lashes, but if you like having too much lashes, of course, if you have singles, you can put but i wanted the look to be like this so the mascara will make the lashes pop a bit more exactly And then under the eye, I'm going to apply mascara too. Just 
you see that the under eye it makes a difference when it has mascara so i applied the dark liner just for decoration but what i love to do is using a very dark um dark brown matte lipstick because it stays for long the one that i'm using is the sephora collection uh matte so it acts as my eyeliner hey i had to be quiet so that i don't mix it acts as my eyeliner this is number 26 sephora collection so it's my my lip liner and then i go in with this nude color actually let me i think let me mix some nudes i'm going to use this sephora collection nude and this makeup revolution nude so that I get the perfect nude lip that I like. Matter of fact, let me use a light pink. Mm, which matte is lighter here? I'm using this Makeup Revolution. This is the Sobet. This is matte. They are all mattes. <laughs> I'm just trying to create the perfect... Uh, color okay and i do this just to mix them up mm, it's coming off beautiful but if you don't like the the way it's coming out you keep adding more until you have your desired um shapes and amounts Let me add some more. It's not as light as I want it to be. I want it to be very light. Mm -hmm. And two is my desired color. I love matte, but sometimes I feel like when I have matte lipstick, it makes me, make me look very old. Now I'm going to go with my Fenty Beauty uh, cream lip gloss and put on top i feel like when you put lip gloss it makes the look feel less less strong it makes it softer as the lips will be softer with the lip gloss everything becomes soft hey banana look How beautiful is that? Uh huh. The lip gloss just makes it give now let's fix the hair darlings this is how the makeup turned out to be tell me what do you think i absolutely love it and i feel like i look gorgeous and this is my everyday soft makeup look tell me what you like and if you'd like me to go in detail about any other look please just tell me and i hope you enjoyed it guys have a good day bye